hello! <laughs> Louis Love here again from the Music Nest and today is a very special day because we have our first installment of Music Nest Naturals and uh, to grace the stage of this wooden trunk we have Willis Ann. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Um, he's going to do a performance on the Korg uh, Micro and the Volca Bass. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, that's it. Mm -hmm. So please sir, take us away. I will. Thank you.
Merci, merci. Well done, Willis. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that was uh, that was great. You went from a uh, really nice mellow ambient, really mm -hmm. sultry, into some more hard techno, Definitely. that acidy vibe. Just the both things I like to do, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. maybe you can tell us a bit about yourself, and uh, you know, when did you start to first get into music? Yeah, actually, I did stop to make music, you know, when I was like a teenager. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I was using like Fruity Loops. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Fruity Loops like with uh, PC, Windows, maybe Windows like 90, 90, no, maybe 98. 98, From yeah. like Windows yeah, 98, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah you're not a good. dinosaur. <laughs> no, 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 not so, not so far away, you know. And yeah, from that, I then yeah. like, you know, went into Ableton Live, you know. Yeah. Uh, using uh, MIDI controllers mm -hmm. with like VST, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, great. But from yeah. that, I was like thinking, yeah, I want to use as well like real hardware, like yeah. pieces of machines, you know. Yeah. Sure, sure. And from that day, I was like using yeah the micro clocks and drum machines, this mm. and that. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a different know. environment. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's different. Yeah, mm. yeah. So to be creative, like with having actual buttons instead of a mouse and keyboard. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Inspires yeah. something different when you when you want yeah, to jam yeah. out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was thinking I want to do more things at the same time, like moving a fader, like a knob and a filter and this and that and see mm. directly the results, you know. So yeah. um, this made me abandon software, you know, mm -hmm. and I was just like using actually hardware only, you know. Yeah. Uh, this is from mm. like maybe since maybe, yeah, let's say seven, eight years ago. Okay, yeah. I just use machines mm. now, just like hardware. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. full full analog. Yeah, full analog and yeah. digital. Yeah, like you're old school, style. huh? So you kind went of... to the new school and then you returned to the old exactly, school. Exactly, exactly. Right, and enough. this, like, new school is actually emulating all sounds. Just yes, that's right. It's like a topic, you know, yeah, so something, yeah. you know, so yeah, yeah, whatever. Exactly. Okay. Well, we spoke a bit earlier. You said you also play drums? Yeah, exactly. Actually, my training is like I'm a drummer, you know? Yeah. And you first started in that before getting into electronic music? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I was like 10 years old. 10 years old? Yeah, okay, so, so right. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was not really yet listening to a lot of music, but I, I like yeah. to play drums, you know, and I yeah. learned at the school. But yeah, I mean, I really like everything which has like some rhythms, you know, and, mm. you know, like groove inside. So yeah. 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 Uh, well, you started yeah. music at a very early age. Was your household when you grew up very musical? Uh, actually, my father was like, like, really into playing music on the weekends, you know, in mm. the house, you know, like, but really like classic stuff, you know, like uh, right. the, the police, okay. rock music, and yeah, sting, and, classic, but right. also Caribbean music, you know, and mm. a lot of as well salsa, mm. Afro Cuban, whatever. So, oh, yeah, actually, nice. I was as well drumming on the on the couches, you know, in the house, you know, and everything I could, yeah. with my sticks, you know, and at the same time listening to the music. So, yeah, yeah. I have to say that. And my cousin, I have a really mm -hmm. great. Yeah, cousin. shout out to Will yeah, Sands' yeah. cousin. Hey, Stefan, <laughs> you, man. <laughs> really, have it. he brought me into really mm. a lot of good music as well. Yeah. Music taste, you know, flavor. Yeah. And I went into as well, like, h music and it's that yeah. film, you know. So, yeah. yeah that's cool. Great stuff, mm. great stuff. Well, I know you're involved in a record label, Lan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Maybe yeah. you can tell us a bit about that. Uh, actually, yeah, so Lan... What's in store for Lan <laughs> in the coming few months? Actually, Lan means uh, live act night, you know. Okay, live so, act night. So, yeah, like, like it's about the live act, you know, and mm -hmm. so it's really focused on the hardware-based uh, machine mm -hmm. uh, and everybody performing live in any forms. Mm -hmm. So the beginning is true, yeah. this was an event, like a jam session. Mm, right. Uh, and in the end, I started to do like a club night, you know. Mm -hmm. And finally, I did end up like uh, you know running a label with Lan. So now it's a label, oh, right. like events, mm. and it's true as well. I'm doing like a workshop now. Yeah. Like maybe that you know. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, do. yeah. Yes. Uh, this workshop in Taiwan at its start. So yeah. Yeah, I of course. Well, you're a, a multimedia creator. Um, yeah. The first time I saw Willis was at uh, Ivy Palace, and it was I was quite surprised. I'd never seen anything like that in Ivy Palace. He was doing. Um, a sound art performance. Ah, it's true, actually. Yeah, yeah, you had the visual, <laughs> the visual and you had yeah. like these crazy sounds coming out of it. Mm -hmm. So, you're, how long did you have been doing this project? Is this uh, something, um, you know, how would you rate this? Because I know you're doing many different things. Is this a, actually, a priority yeah. or, you know, what's your... It's, uh, it's a good question, actually, it's true. Uh, through the last years, I was more like into playing live with my machines. Yeah. So producing music and having the gigs, you know, mm, right. but since maybe like some two, three years, I got really a lot into uh, filming mm -hmm. and video. Yeah. I really like it, you know. Yeah, uh, sure. I know how that feels. Yeah, yeah I know. It's pretty cool. And 
Mm. Yeah, I, I try now to combine more and more like yeah. music yeah. and visual, yeah. or like sound and, and yeah. performance, you know, visual. I think that's so a very good idea really because cool. there's yeah. still a little bit of space there, you know. Yeah, Almost it's everyone true. can uh, yeah, produce yeah. music or has the technology. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's rare that I often see really good music integrated with uh, uh, visual, visual yeah. art. It's somewhere. true actually, yeah. It's true. So, yeah. yeah, that's great. Um, so that's about it. Cool. Yeah, I think... Uh, Thanks very much again. Yeah, thank you, as well, you know, Anisha, for the invitation. It was really yeah, cool. Sure, yeah, my really pleasure. Cool. So this has been the first uh, first edition of Music Nest Naturals. We're here in Taipei, Taiwan. And uh, thanks very much for tuning in. Thank you. Uh, if you like it, please support the arts. Please support Music Nest. Subscribe, follow us on Facebook, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm Louis Love. This is Willis Ann. You can catch thank him. You, you got SoundCloud, Bandcamp, all that. Yeah, you can just like type Willis N online, and you can find. Yeah, we'll SoundCloud. put all the links in the the comments yeah, below. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome to check it out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So cool. thanks very much, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. pleasure. So cool. we'll see you next time. Peace. See you.